What's happening, good people? Welcome back to Search for Tone. My name is Brian. Thanks for dropping in. Today, we're going to look at another Telecaster. This one by Groat. So if you haven't seen the unboxing video already, go check that out. You'll see how this thing was all packaged up nice and neat. And uh, been kind of had my eye on Groat for a little while. This model kind of a, appealed to me the most just because of the cool little, I guess you would say photo flame finish. It's a printed veneer. There's a wide variety of colors. I'll flash them up on the screen for you. And although for a claiming to be a semi hollow body guitar, I have a feeling that it's really just about this part right here where the F-hole is, is, semi, is hollow because when you look down the front and the back, you can see that obviously this, you need something to adhere to. But right about here where this pickup is, is all wood and it sounds very thick here. So it's not a traditional semi-hollow, it just appears that way. So it claims that the F-hole gives it some resonance and we'll see. But your trip, typical Telecaster, uh, Neck feels kind of nice. Maple neck, basswood body. Does have some cream binding, and it is string through. And it has a nice little heel cut here too. It's not squared off, so giving you a little bit more access. So for 109, right off the bat, doesn't seem too bad. Got your regular tuners, two string trees, and it looks like a plastic nut. I could see by looking, looks like there's some crud on the uh, frets already. But there doesn't feel like there's any sprouting. They're not round or rolled like in the T's guitar, which is kind of still our benchmark because we haven't found a Telecaster that quite stacks up to that. But we'll see. This one only has two single coil pickups. If you haven't seen the T's video, there's a little mini humbucker in the bridge. Three-way switching and uh, knurled knobs. Kind of a uh, perulloid-ish type pickguard. Three-ply, so pretty, pretty hefty there. Sight on scene, you can see this kind of there's a dent, maybe a little scratch here. It wasn't bought used, so there should be nothing like that. Nothing to really deter you from purchasing it. We'll tune it up and see how she sounds. Already, if you didn't see it, I did a little test here. The jack seems better than the full drill guitar. If you haven't seen that video, you should check it out, where I just bounced it off my knee a little bit and the thing just like fell right out. Uh, we'll give it some tones. Forgot to mention also too, it has uh, six independent saddles, so that's kind of cool too. Easier for intonating. It doesn't look like they might not be grooved though. If they are, they're very, very small. But we'll see someday when we yank the strings off this thing. Hopefully, because we'll hopefully be keeping this bad boy.
Overall, I think as far as feel, it is got some good heft to it. It has a nice look to it. This is more of what I would kind of feel like a Telecaster would feel like. I still feel like, again, that Tease guitar definitely is still the benchmark. But feel-wise just in the hands alone i would say if the t's was a five this is a, about a three needs some sort of adjustment the tonal though i think compared to the t's i don't even know if i would really want to give it a two this is something i would definitely swap the pickups out right away it sounded not terrible in the middle position, but either one, like, separate to me, didn't sound all that great. It's definitely something that if you mod to give to a beginner would be kind of inspirational, is looking kind of cool. And, you know, if you want to throw some fancy, you know, pickups in here, you got a kind of cool looking guitar. It's going to look good on stage for you professional people and you don't want to lose, you know, a $2,000 guitar. You take this thing out there with you. Things I didn't like about it, obviously, were a little bit of the the photo finish. There kind of looks like some kind of like purpleness going on. I don't know if it was from like, you know, the heat being applied to it too much, like getting it to stick or what have you. Because there is kind of like a purple-ish. It gives a character as far as like if you had two of these next to each other, this one would be a little different. The B string, the spring in here, if you, a mild pleck to the string, it was vibrating like crazy. And I don't know if that's just because of where the string is rusting up against it or what's up with that. Uh, if you know, drop a comment down below on how to possibly fix that. But for, for 109, I think this is better than the Folgel at 79 at least because it has some things going for you. It has, you know, the frets look a little bit nicer here. The fretboard, the rolled, not rolled edges, but you're not having any sprouting issues or anything like that. The finish, I think, is at least better, even though it's a fake photo flame finish on here. String through is a major plus. The uh, jack not falling out, another another major major plus. I think you get a little bit more out of this as a mod monster compared to the Folgel. I think if you put the same amount of parts into that as you did to this, you'd probably be, I think, a little bit more happier with that one. And if you were to, I say, get this and have a tease and you wanted to mod something, I would say if you took all the parts off the tease, put it into this thing, you would have a killer telecaster and then you could do what you want with your your tease guitar and make that thing a hundred times better but the tease is about one and a half times more than this guitar price wise i think it's it's well worth it to again and i don't want to sound like i work for tease but to me that's the the telecaster that i have right now that i kind of hold as you know, especially in the affordable market, but just overall, it's to me, it, it's better. It sounded better, it feels better, but, so I definitely put this somewhere in between that lime green, surf green, Folgel, and, and the T's guitar. Let me know what you thought about this guitar. If you own one, drop a comment down below. You've all been a fantastic audience. And as always, stay tuned.